We are so grateful to be their partner and to have developed this gorgeous campus for them to be able to bring wonderful virtual reality opportunities to their students from this day forward. Florida A&M University was actually started in 1887. 1887. Uh, wow. That's, that's just, wow, that's amazing. And to think that from 1887 to today, 2024, here we are all these years later and we're opening up a new version of this beautiful campus in the metaverse. And here joining us today, I would like to introduce to you, um, it's my honor and privilege to introduce to you, Dr. Richard Long, Associate Dean of Science and Technology at Florida A&M. And he will say a few words and then we'll go over and we'll cut the ribbon. And then we'll show you parts of this beautiful campus and how it's going to be used for the students here. All right, Dr. thank you, Long? Kathleen. Uh, thank you all for joining us today. Uh, this is monumental. As Kathleen noted, uh, FAMU was founded in 1887, and now in 2024, we are going to enter a new modality. We are going to offer virtual reality teaching for our students, both in our graduate programs as well as in our undergraduate programs. It's going to be an exciting venture and uh, we look forward to some novel types of engagement using this virtual platform. So thank you. And of course, I do want to acknowledge that this project was a collaboration between Florida A&M University, uh, BISC Education, as well mm -hmm. as Victory XR, through grants supported by uh, the Cyberforce Initiative and through uh, Meta. All right, and thank you all, and let's proceed. Thank you. Yes, yes, this wouldn't be possible well without the contribution of Meta. Thank you so much for contributing to, um, to this wonderful opportunity for the students here on this campus. Uh, and we're very appreciative of our partnership and relationship with Meta as well. Would you like to proceed to the ribbon cutting to turn them around? There you go. <laughs> and what a great uh, band that is. What a, just <laughs> absolutely a wonderful. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you, Dr. King. Thank you. Oh, thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. Now we're going to the lab, right? Yes, we are. Let's go into the lab and show you a space where students will be able to engage. We're going to walk over this way. And everyone can just go through the portal. This is cool. <laughs> Just going to walk right into the portal and it will black out momentarily until the scene Ooh. loads for you and then you'll be taken into the, into the scene. Ooh, that's a huge heart. Whoa, 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 whoa. Excuse me. That doesn't make no, sense. sir. Oh. What do you see right now? Dr. Batiku, did you bring the big heart in? I've run in this little yeah, one. Okay, let me take it out then. Okay, you can delete okay. yours and I'll just move mine. Okay. <laughs> All right. There we go, perfect. And as you can see, it is that mm. easy to bring in a human yeah. heart. And if yeah. I wanted to, I could multiply these and pass them around. 
<laughs> and I don't Day. have the cost of all the cadaver hearts. Mm-hmm. Or the blood. <laughs> or the blood, yeah. One of the great advantages of teaching with virtual reality is the fact that students can interact with all of these amazing um, objects. And professors can actually blow things up to show things in detail to their students that they wouldn't mm. have been able to do before. Okay. If you walk through this heart, you'll be able to see the interior chambers of the Ooh. heart. Oh, okay. Now. All right. Thank you. Dr. Batiku, did you want to share um, some information about what course you'll be utilizing Victor XR Academy to teach? Yes, thank, uh, yes Kathleen, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, we're starting this summer with uh, General Biology One Lab, where we'll be able to teach students using these uh, VR labs, like we have here, uh, the HART how the heart works by pumping and um, contracting uh, to move blood around the body. So uh, this will give the student the opportunity to be able to see three things in three dimension and um, be able to relate with all of these organs in the body better than looking at pictures in the textbook or in PowerPoint. So one will be able to demonstrate to them uh, in the in the virtual world, how these different parts of the body works. Another thing is that even testing like for starch proteins, uh, for DNA and stuff like that, we will be able to have students do this kind of lab virtually. And uh, things like osmosis, diffusion, the way these molecules are moving through boundaries, so then we'll be able to see this, and not just hearing this, but they will see it, they'll be able to feel it. So I hope that then we'll be able to relate with what we are teaching them better by using these virtual labs. And we also have the plan to use the virtual lab to teach anatomy um, by one of my colleagues in the department. So students will be able to see the different part of the body organs uh, like we are looking at right now in this virtual world. And that will help them to understand better what they are going to be taught. So we are actually looking forward to this new opportunity uh, for our students and for us as faculty also to be able to uh, impart our students better. Thank you, Kathleen. Thank you, Dr. Patiku. Mm -hmm. We are so excited to be working with Florida A&M University. Jen, would you like to say a few words from BISC Education? Absolutely. I'm just so proud of this moment, and it's taken so much time and effort to get to this place. So first and foremost, I'm, I want to tell FAMU, well done, way to go. We finally got this on board, got this taken care of. Um, and this is just the beginning, like literally, this is just the first of many opportunities that you're going to have to teach in the metaverse. I want to thank some special people um, that aren't here. Dean Richard Allo, he's the Dean of the College of Science and Technology, was not able to attend, but we want to acknowledge him and his effort. Um, and I also want to acknowledge uh, Bertoni Bernelis, who is also not here, but he has essentially been the director of this project. Um, he was not able to attend today. Um, and then as Dr. Long had mentioned in his message earlier, you know, this came about through a, a partnership. It was a Florida A&M University, BISC Education, Victory XR partnership through the Cyber Florida Grant, the Cyber IT Pathways Grant that we um, co-authored and was awarded in 2022. So this is the culmination of all of our hard work. And it is just a privilege to be here with everyone today. Thank you so much, Kathleen, for this honor. Oh, well, it is our honor indeed. Thank you so much for entrusting us with your with this with these uh with this opportunity for your students. That's why we're all here. We're here because our students deserve 
to be learning in a way that is engaging and fun and they can relate to. And yes. their concepts, their understanding, their ability to retain the information will only be enhanced because they are able to experience things rather than just read about it in a book or look at pictures. So thank you for taking the chance for striving into the 2024 20, year with us. <laughs> and um, wow, it, it's just, it's just a privilege and honor to be working with you all. Thank you very much.